So the iPhone 15 is here. So far, I've been hearing that people have been pretty disappointed with the colors, but I am here to settle it once and for all. Which iPhone 15 color is the worst and which one is the best, in my opinion, of course. If you're ready, go click that subscribe button and like the video as it helps the channel out. I'd like to see if I can hit 50,000 subscribers, so help me out, share this video to your family and friends, and click subscribe. So let's start with the iPhone 15 and 15 plus colors, particularly pink, their marquee color. So just in time for the Barbie movie, which I haven't seen actually, the iPhone 15 is dressed in pink. In my opinion, this is the best or one of the best colors for the iPhone 15. I think girls would love it. I am ranking this color as B. Next color is yellow. Now, I'm not a big fan of this yellow. It just looks too undecided in my opinion. It looks very pale, washed out, and kind of reminds me of... Anyway, I don't think a lot of people would be buying this phone. If you are, hey, no problem, enjoy. But for me, it is a D. Next, we have green. Now, I'm not sure why, but I'm really biased towards green phones. Somehow, they always look good to me. Whether it's the dark green series in the iPhone 13 or this new green kind of minty iPhone 15, it reminds me of a string of soul or Listerine, if that makes sense, because it's so fresh. I don't know why I thought of that, but it looks really good. If I'm buying an iPhone 15, I'll be buying this color. This one deserves a B. Next color, we have white. Oh, I mean, blue. Look, guys, let's do an experiment. Look at this blue iPhone for like five seconds. Let your eye adjust a bit and boom. Isn't that just white? It looks like your iPhone's white screen if you turn off True Tone. Anyway, I think this is the first year that Apple did not offer a white color for the regular iPhone and it's because they just called it blue. Now, I actually quite like white. I don't know why I am complaining, so I'm not ranking this at the lowest, but I am putting this on C because it's just white with a hint of blue. Finally, we have the boring black. I'm, well, I'm wearing a black t-shirt on every single video. Now, I'm gonna be honest, the black this year is actually very nice. I think it's because of the matte back that it reminds me of the old Space Gray Pro phones and those are beautiful. Now on this, it doesn't have shiny edges because it is still aluminum. So it's matte all around. Um, it's not offensive, but also it's, I don't know, black phones are very boring to me. So I am putting it on C as well. So those are the iPhone 15 colors ranked. Now before we go to the iPhone 15 Pro colors, I also want to rank the colors of the cases of our channel sponsor, Mojo. So Mojo recently opened their Philippines official store on Shopee PH and they set up their new iPhone 15 case lineup with new colors for pre-orders. Their premium full green leather cases are available in black, dark tan, Monaco blue, Monaco blue, Monaco blue, and the new burgundy. They also have their shield cases, which have a drop protection of 15 feet, which is three times my height in steel blue and black. For me, if I would be ranking these colors, and even though I'm sponsored, I am putting a color at the last place, uh, but it would be black as you expect. Uh, just because it's too safe but it does have its advantages like not showing patina or anywhere so if you like leather but don't like the patina look this is the color for you for my iphone 14 pro max i actually have the black mujo full green leather case and it looks very pristine i mean even though it's leather it doesn't show any discoloration uh, so if you don't like that look and but you like leather this is the way to go. It looks pretty perfect. After black, I'd probably say the steel blue and then Monaco blue, which is actually very lovely. Then dark tan, a very classic leather case color. And at the very top, burgundy. I don't know why the red leather case just looks so premium, especially with the new natural titanium color of the iPhone 15 Pro. 
I think it would pair really nicely. Anyway, if you'd like to pre-order these premium full grain leather cases, head on over to Shopee and search mujo.ph, add to cart and the model you prefer, and check out. We also have a very limited discount voucher only for my audience, and that is a 20% off discount on top of Shopee's own voucher. Just type Muj Mario, that is M-U-J-J-M-A-R-I-O, and it can only be used by 20 people. So go pre-order and check out as soon as possible. I'll leave the link in my description below, including their Instagram. So now let's go back to the iPhone 15 Pro colors. All right, so for the iPhone 15 Pro, there's not only new colors, there's also a new material, which changes the game, kind of. The reason why is that I've heard that titanium is easier to scratch and colored titanium when scratched would look terrible. Now, despite this hearsay, it didn't really affect my color rankings because I do have darker colored iPhone 15 Pros a little low. So now let's start with the black titanium. Looking at the pictures, the black titanium actually kind of looks like gunmetal gray, which I quite like. It has a certain warmness to it, and among the black phones, this is one of the best looking ones. Now, it's still black, don't get me wrong, but I like a little fun, so I am putting this on B. Next, we have the blue titanium. I think this color is very pretty. I don't know why it reminds me of space. It has a very space age feel to it. Like it's a blend of black, blue, and purple, and it just looks pretty. If this can stay pristine, this would look very nice. I'll be ranking this on A. Next, we have the white titanium. I am a big fan of white phones. I have the white iPhone 14 Pro Max. Um, if you can see it here showing a little bit. I think it is the best white iPhone that Apple has created because it looks just very clean and white. You know, this year, they're back to the eggshell type of white or some people might say pearl white where it has a warmer shade to it. I still prefer the cool, clean white just like this from the 14 Pro, but the white titanium is not bad at all. It's very timeless. I won't complain if I got it. It still looks clean and I'll be putting it on A. Lastly, but not the least, natural titanium. Now, I'll be honest, I've been going back and forth whether I love this color or I don't. One side of me thinks it's gorgeous, another side tells me I think it would look old after a few months. Now, there are some things I quite like about it. Of course, it's the new marquee color of the iPhone 15 Pro. Once you have it, everyone knows it's the new phone. Its color being the natural state of titanium is also very appealing, just like how silver, stainless steel, and aluminum is to me. And also, I think its color is very versatile, and it would look incredible with a lot of cases like Muja's burgundy case, Monaco blue, or the dark tan. I think I'm not really decided until I see it in person, but for now, it's not an S. It's not a B, so let's meet first at A. So yes, this is the first year that no color got to the S tier. In my opinion, no color really stood out this year in a good and bad sense. I think they're very safe, professional, and subtle. That kind of emits some boringness to it. But as a collection, yes, they are boring, but I bet one phone at a time, I think they will look great, which is how it's supposed to be. So you can choose any phone from here, and I think you'll be happy with your purchase. So what do you guys think? What are your thoughts about my ranking? And what is your favorite color among the iPhone 15s? Leave it in the comments below. So there you guys have it. That is my ranking of the iPhone 15 colors. If you want more Apple content and iPhone 15 content, hit that like and subscribe button as I will be uploading more in the next couple of weeks. Click the thanks button also and donate to the channel if you appreciate the videos I make. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, X, or Facebook with the username at Maoyoni. While waiting for my next videos, click on this playlist right here to watch more of my Apple content. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Marion, your technology friend. I'm making videos again. I'll see you on my next video.